My name is Maxine Ahosa. I am almost 10 years old. And when I was a baby, I was diagnosed with a rare form of leukemia that almost killed me. My name is Christian Inahosa. I am a proud father of two amazing boys, uh, Max, who's almost 10, and Will, who's seven. Two weeks into Max's birth, we received a phone call from his pediatrician saying that some newborn blood work had come back with these levels that he hadn't even seen before. After numerous uh, rule outs of, of what they called differential diagnoses, um, we heard the words that we never thought we'd hear. Your child has cancer. I wanted to know everything about JMML, and I wanted to know how that would affect my little boy, because we were actually able to make treatment decisions based on research that we were reading that had come out a month before. There were doctors who were publishing research that was actually relevant to my son. As I kept peeling back the layers of the onion, I realized that the teams of doctors who were doing this research were largely limited by funding. I distinctly remember one of Max's oncologists even saying that. And she said, you know, we could probably cure these if we just had enough money. The most difficult scenes that I remember were the ones where Max was on an adult-sized hospital bed being rolled off into surgery and we couldn't go in there with him. He had an oxygen mask on, he was under anesthesia and was just swallowed by this bed. And, and that's the most helpless that I felt. That's, um, you just have to let go and you have to trust the doctors that are behind that door. It's a miracle. It's a miracle that was largely assisted by an incredible drug that he was on and that was largely assisted by the fact that there were teams of researchers who were giving us these gifts in these research reports that were allowing us to make treatment decisions that ultimately uh, affected a positive outcome. Today, I've got a healthy, almost 10 year old who is free of any treatment. We're asking Congress for $80 million this year so that kids have a chance to not just survive, but to thrive. We wanna have treatments that are appropriate for them that allow them not only to, 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 be, to meet with success in that moment, but to go on and live a long and healthy life. Just keep believing and hoping that your kid will make it. I just want kids to survive like me. I want them to like live their life like me.